Hi, uh, my name is Marcel, and I've had uh, quite a few people ask me how my homemade uh, hydraulic lift works, so I thought I'd uh, try putting this little video together. Um, and what I have here, I have a jog switch that operates an electric motor that drives my hydraulic pump, which happens to be a uh, power steering pump out of a car. So what I do is I make sure that the uh, motorcycle is situated so that when I lift up on the lift that it uh, picks up on the front edge of the uh, double stand and I'll show you how it goes right here. I'm going to check it out right now and see if I've got it located properly. It appears to be okay and so I'll continue to take it out. Uh, one of the questions I get is uh, when it's on the lift, how uh, able am I uh, to move it around? And as you can see, it spins. Uh, it spins uh, rather easily on the hydraulic cylinder. Okay, so I don't do this very often, but uh, as you can see. It's um, not a big problem. Okay, so now uh, the motorcycle itself is not overly steady right now. It does wiggle, but it's certainly secure. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it up a little higher, and I'm going to. Um, I'm going to uh, install an aluminum chair that I made up to go underneath. I'm going to have to take it up a little bit higher. And what I do now is I will lower the lift so that the weight of the uh, motorcycle is on the chair and not on the uh, cylinder. So I'll just open the bypass up on my lift and down it comes and there you have it. The motorcycle is secure. Uh, when I'm working on it I do put the uh, tie downs on but as you can see I feel very comfortable with the lift on the chair. And uh, what I lastly do is I will uh, take a couple of ratchet straps and I go around the, uh, the guards and I ratchet strap it down to the chair which makes it nice and solid. Uh, so that's about it. And then once I do that then I can take the wheels off and work on the front end and everything's nice and solid. Okay, and that's it.